Have you ever felt your heart racing, your palms sweating, and your knees weak when trying to start a conversation with a woman? Studies show that nearly two-thirds of men struggle with anxiety when it comes to engaging with the opposite sex. With the fear of rejection looming large, it can be difficult to take the plunge and start a conversation. But it doesn't have to be that way. You can learn to talk to women without fear of rejection. Imagine being able to approach any woman with confidence, start a conversation with her, and get to know her without worrying about being turned down. Imagine feeling empowered as you talk to women, knowing that you will get the results you want. With the right strategies, you can make that dream a reality. So, let's get started and learn how to talk to women without fear of rejection. Hello, and welcome back to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's start. Number 13. Stop looking at rejection as failure. What if, instead of looking at rejection as failure, you viewed it as a lesson? Rejection doesn't have to be a dead end. It can actually be the first step to success. Rejection can actually be a great opportunity to learn more about yourself and how to interact with others. If you change how you think about rejection, you can go into any situation with confidence and not worry about being turned down. You'll be able to talk to women without fear, and you'll be more likely to make meaningful connections. Start by recognizing that rejection is a normal part of life. Everyone experiences it at some point, and the only way to avoid it completely is to never take any risks. Instead of worrying about the possibility of being rejected, Focus on the possibility of success. Number 12. Understand why rejection exists. Rejection can be a hard pill to swallow, but it's important to understand why it exists. Rejection is simply a natural part of life, and understanding why it happens can help us accept it and move forward. It can be helpful to remember that rejection is a form of protection. It's a way to help us avoid getting involved in something that won't be good for us. It can also be a sign that we need to reassess our goals or try a new approach. By understanding the purpose of rejection, we can use it to our advantage and make the most of any situation. Number 11. Understand your self-worth. Now that you understand why rejection exists and why it's not the end of the world, it's important to understand your self-worth. Knowing your self-worth means knowing that you are important and deserve respect, no matter if someone likes you or not. It also means understanding that you are capable of success in all areas of your life, and that you deserve to be happy and pursue your dreams. It's important to remember that even if you do experience rejection, it doesn't reflect who you are as a person. No matter what, you are valuable and worthy of respect. Number 10 project a good image. Projecting a good image is important when talking to women without fear of rejection. There are a few things you should consider. First of all, make sure you are clean and well presented. Make sure your hair is clean and shiny, and if you have a beard, make sure it's trimmed and clean. Make sure your breath is sweet and that you smell nice. Your clothes should be clean, and if necessary, ironed, and your shoes and or joggers should be clean. When it comes to conversation, make sure you listen and don't talk over people. Show respect and generosity, but don't go overboard with them. All these factors combined will help you project a good image when talking to women and reduce the chance of being rejected. Number 9. Practice and get rejected. The more you get rejected, the more comfortable you will become with it. And as you continue to get rejected, you'll start to realize that it's not a big deal. You'll learn to accept it, and it'll no longer be a fear for you. At first, it might be intimidating, but that's why it's so important to practice. As you continue to practice and get rejected, you'll eventually start to see the rejection as an opportunity to learn to accept it. You'll see rejection as an opportunity to learn and grow. You become more confident in your approach and more resilient to the initial shock of rejection. 
Eventually, you'll be able to talk to women without fear of rejection. You'll be able to take risks and be yourself without worrying about the outcome. Number 8. Tweak your flaws. Tweaking your flaws can help you to talk to women without fear of rejection. The first step is to identify the aspects of your personality you want to improve. Do you struggle to make conversation? Are you too shy to make a move? Or perhaps you come across as too intimidating? Once you've identified the flaws, you can start to tweak them. Practice conversation topics and learn how to listen actively. Focus on building relationships with women rather than trying to impress them. Speak positively about yourself and your goals and be confident in your own skin. Finally, remember that no one is perfect and that it's okay to make mistakes. Number 7. Be confident. Being confident is essential when talking to women without fear of rejection. To become more confident, you must believe in yourself, practice self-affirmation, and speak with confidence and good posture. Start by looking people in the eye when you speak and practice good posture by keeping your shoulders back and your head held high. Speak in a clear and confident voice and be sure to project your voice so that you can be heard. Use positive language and be sure to be honest and open when communicating. Finally, practice what you want to say in advance and avoid using filler words such as um and like. With practice, you can become a confident and articulate speaker who's able to talk to women without fear of rejection. Number 6. Use good timing. Escalate slowly and keep it simple. When it comes to talking to women without fear of rejection, timing is key. Make sure you approach her when she doesn't seem busy or overwhelmed. Also, make sure you're not in a dark alley at night. If you are in a public setting, it's important to start a conversation with small talk and keep it casual. Don't jump straight into asking her out on a date or discussing more serious topics. Escalate slowly and keep your conversation simple. This will help her feel more comfortable and give you both a chance to get to know each other. With patience and good timing, you can easily talk to women without fear of rejection. Number 5. Notice the signals women send you. When talking to women, one of the most important steps is to be aware of the signals they send you. Women often communicate their feelings and emotions through body language, facial expressions, and vocal tones. Paying close attention to these subtle cues can help you know if a woman is interested in talking to you or not. Women may also give off signs they are not interested, such as avoiding eye contact or crossing their arms. By noticing these signs, you can adjust your approach and be more mindful of how the conversation is going. Number 4. Don't think about the outcome. When approaching someone, it can be easy to focus on the outcome but this can be a recipe for disaster. Instead, focus on the present moment. Don't worry about whether or not the woman will reject you. Instead, focus on the conversation itself. Ask her questions and listen attentively. Show genuine interest in her life and experiences. Don't be too forward or aggressive, as this can also turn her off. Above all, be confident in your approach. Having a positive attitude and a relaxed demeanor can go a long way in helping you break the ice. Number 3. Use the 3-second rule. This 3-second rule can help you combat your fear of rejection or saying the wrong thing. By giving yourself a time limit, you can take action without having to worry about all the potential outcomes. It might seem like a short amount of time, but the truth is that a lot can be said in 3 seconds. You don't have to have a grandiose pickup line. Just simply say hello or hey and see where it goes from there. When you know you only have three seconds, you don't think as much and just do it. If you don't get rejected, you feel good and it's a great confidence booster. If you do get rejected, it's over in three seconds and you can move on. Number 2. Learn the difference between direct and indirect openers. Basically, a direct opener is more direct and you show your interest straight away, 
while an indirect opener is more subtle and you're trying to open up the conversation without being too forward. It's really important to remember that when you're using direct openers, you have to be original and creative. You have to have something that will make you stand out from the crowd. On the other hand, when using indirect openers, you have to be more creative and come up with something that will spark her interest and get her talking. It's also important to remember that when using openers, you have to have a follow-up plan, something that will keep the conversation going and moving it away from just the opener. Number 1. Use mind scripts and never run out of things to say. When it comes to talking to women without fear of rejection, using mind scripts and never running out of things to say are two of the most important steps. Mind scripts are an NLP principle that involves repeating affirmations to yourself that will help you become more confident. This will help occupy your mind and make it easier for you to focus on the conversation. Additionally, you should work on your skill of never running out of things to say. Before you start talking, come up with a few topics that you can talk about. Then, when you start speaking, keep the conversation light, use humor, and let it flow naturally. The purpose of this video was to provide you with a few key tips on how to talk to women without fear of rejection. Remember to be yourself, be confident, be respectful and interesting, and make sure to listen. Keep in mind that rejection is a natural part of life, and you can learn from each experience. With practice and patience, talking to women can become a more enjoyable experience. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.